Today we will take a more detailed look at what happens inside a cell as it completes the steps of the cell cycle. To make new cells, one cell divides into what we call two identical daughter cells. Every cell contains one set of genetic information. Before the cell can divide to form the two new daughter cells, it must make a copy of the genetic information. The daughter cells are identical to the parent cell because they have the same genetic information. Genetic information that is passed on from one generation to the next is carried by chromosomes. Chromosomes are made up of DNA and protein. Humans have 46 chromosomes. These 46 chromosomes are in pairs and can be arranged in a karyotype as seen here. A karyotype is a tool that geneticists use to determine genetic abnormalities or disorders in humans. This karyotype shows 22 autosomes and one set of sex chromosomes for a total of 23 pairs. This karyotype is that of a normal female. Females have two X chromosomes, whereas males have one X and one Y chromosome. In each pair, one chromosome is from the mother and the other is from the father. Look at chromosome pair number one, for example. Let's assume that chromosome 1 on the right was from the father and the one on the left was from the mother. Both of these chromosomes code for the same traits. They are said to be homologous, meaning that they have matching information. For example, they might both code for eye color, height, and skin tone. Some traits are dominant and some are not. This means that if you inherited dom dominant traits on your mother's chromosome, and not on your father's chromosome, you will have her eye color, height, and skin tone. Only those traits that are said to be dominant are actually expressed in the organism. Take a look at this karyotype. What is the gender of this person? Look at the chromosomes pictured in the bottom right hand corner. Those chromosomes are the sex chromosomes. This person has an X chromosome and one Y chromosome, therefore this person is male. Do you notice anything unusual about this karyotype? If you said chromosome pair 21, you are correct. This person has a disorder known as trisomy 21 or Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a genetic disorder in which a person inherits one extra chromosome. Instead of the normal pair of chromosomes, they have cr three chromosome numbers 21. This disorder is characterized by moderate mental disability, characteristic facial features, and even heart defects. A lot can be determined just by looking at the appearance of a person's chromosomes in a karyotype. Take a moment to label the chromosome on your paper. A chromosome is actually made of two chromatids. These chromatids have matching information as chromosomes only appear in the cell once the DNA has been copied. Each of the chromatids is held together at the center by a centromere. Chromosomes carry genes. Genes are segments of DNA that determine traits or characteristics. Pause the video to give yourself more time to label the picture. Now that we have looked at chromosomes and understand their structure, let's begin to look at what happens in the cell to ensure that each new cell receives an exact copy of the DNA. Remember, every cell in your body has one thing in common. They are descendants of the zygote, the first cell that was formed from the fusion of the egg and sperm that created you. Every cell in your body has passed through the cell cycle. The cell cycle is the series of events that cells go through as they grow and develop. There are distinct phases of the cell cycle. They include interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis. Let's take a look at those phases to understand what our cells have to do in order to make the organism that we are. At the bottom of the screen, there is a picture of what your cell looks like at each of these steps. In the space provided, make a sketch of this. One has been provided to guide your work. Interphase is the part of the cell cycle where the cell prepares for division. 
During interphase, the cell grows in size and synthesizes new proteins and organelle parts. The chromosomes or DNA are replicated. Replicated means that they are copied. And then after all of the DNA is copied, the organelles are assembled and the cell is ready for division. The first part of the cell to divide is the nucleus. It has four steps, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Follow along with the diagram as we look at an overview of mitosis. The images across the top are micrographs of actual animal cells carrying out the process of mitosis. The pictures across the bottom are diagrams to help you better understand what is happening in the cell. During prophase, the chromosomes begin to form. At metaphase, they line up along the equator or center of the cell. During anaphase, the chromatids of each chromosome are pulled apart. At telophase, there are now two distinct nuclei and the cell is now ready to divide its cytoplasm. Let's take a look at the steps of mitosis in a little more detail. Again, there is a micrograph of an actual cell that is pictured on the left and a diagram to help you understand what is actually happening in the cell on the right. During prophase, the chromosomes are visible. The centrioles begin to separate. The centrioles are cell structures that aid the cell in separating the chromosomes. Spindle fibers begin to form. Spindle fibers are also cellular structures that work with the centrioles to separate the chromosomes. The nuclear membrane also begins to break down during prophase. Take a moment to make a sketch of what the cell looks like during prophase in the space provided on your paper. Be sure to label the spindle fibers, the centrioles, and the chromosomes. One has been done for you as an example. Pause the video to give yourself more time to make a drawing. During metaphase, the chromosomes line up along the center of the cell. The center of the cell is referred to as the equator. Each chromosome is connected to a spindle fiber at its centromere. Again, take a moment to create a sketch of what is happening in the cell during the steps of mitosis. Pause the video to give yourself more time. During anaphase, the sister chromatids separate into individual chromosomes and are guided by the spindle fibers to the poles of the cells. The poles refer to the opposite end of the cell. Remember, when the cell begins to enter the cell cycle, the DNA is copied so that each new cell has an exact copy of the DNA. During the last step of mitosis, which is telophase, the chromosomes are at the poles of the cell. They begin to lose their distinct shapes, spindle fibers break down, the nucleus reappears, and two new nuclear membranes form. At this point, mitosis is complete. Remember, mitosis is the division of the nucleus. Mitosis must occur first before the rest of the cell can divide. The last step of the cell cycle is cytokinesis or division of the cytoplasm. During cytokinesis, the cell membrane pinches inward, dividing the cell's organelles and cytoplasm between the two new cells. At the end of cytokinesis, there are identical cells. Each has 46 chromosomes with identical genetic information. The major difference in plant cells is that a cell plate divides the cytoplasm. The cell plate becomes the cell wall. The process of cell division is a critical process for growth and development. We grew from a single cell to the organism that we are today. Remember, every cell that you have is a direct descendant of the zygote, the combination of sperm and egg that created you. The cell cycle, which includes interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis, is the process that made this possible. Take a moment to create a picture of the two new identical cells. Pause the video if you need more time. Now that we have learned what happens in the cell during the process of cell division, let's review the process of meiosis. 
Meiosis is very similar to mitosis. During meiosis, the DNA is copied once, but the cell divides twice. This creates four cells that have half a set of chromosomes. Instead of 46 chromosomes, egg and sperm cells have 23. This ensures that normal human embryos are created. In short, meiosis occurs to create gametes. Gametes are either egg or sperm cells. Egg and sperm cells have half of the genetic information. When an egg with 23 chromosomes combines with a sperm with 23 chromosomes, a normal human zygote with 46 chromosomes is created. As you can see, the process of cell division is critical. Mitosis is needed for normal growth and repair of body tissues and organs, and the process of meiosis is needed for reproduction to occur.